thing again. Um, day 14, 14 I think, yeah. Um, nano today, I haven't done a lot of writing. I am just over 19,000, so I'm about... I'm just over 4,000 behind, so, hmm, yeah. Still going really, really slow, really, really slow, so, yeah, yeah. Still, I know, I know what I want to write, but for some reason, I just can't, I just can't seem to get the words out, so, or, or the words down on, in front of me on the screen. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my story today, only a tiny bit, um, because it will be um, released on ebook at some point. Um, it's a supernatural, I can't tell you any more than that because it gives the book away, so it's a supernatural book, it's not vampires, it's not it's not werewolves, it's, it's not zombies, it's something completely different, well, I, I personally, but it's my story, uh, I think it's something completely different, I've only... I haven't. I I, pers I haven't read any books about what mine is about. If that makes sense, um, there are books out there. I expect because, like they say, every book has been written. It's just it gets rewritten in a different way by different people. So every concept has been written. Anyway, yeah. So there's a girl. Her name is Lana. Um, and there is a boy and his name is Sebastian and it's it's an adult book uh, will be and she starts a new job in Canada away from her family away from her friends and she just gets on with it it's it's like um, she works in a promotions company for a chocolate sort of factory type place and she has a best friend there and her name is Sophie and she meets she uh, Sophie is like a joker and they get on really really well um she's always there if she needs to talk to to her about anything and then she meets Sebastian and he's like um he does the post so he goes around delivering posts to everybody and things like that and they sort of um make a connection together and they hit it off and then lots of chaos and romance happens and she meets people something happens really big and she meets people and sort of bands together with them and tries to fight what um tries to fight what's happening at the time um she can't quite believe what's happening mind you neither can anyone else so they're all sort of making these excuses it, it could be this it could be that so anyway yeah that's as much as I can really tell you, I can't, I can't, I wish I could tell you more, but I can't, so, I mean, that's the gist of it, you know, there's lots of chaos, there's, there's lots of romance, it's quite steamy sometimes, uh, yeah, okay, so, also, while I'm on here, um, I also, um, have a book out, an ebook, they're all ebooks, I have an ebook out, which is called Betrayal, I don't know if you wanted to, um, if you want to know about it or anything, but yeah, it's uh, it's out. Uh, it's, uh, published by Zeno Books, and it's out. It's been out for a past year or so. You can find it on Goodreads. You can find it on Amazon to buy it. Um, any obviously ebook reader, you can purchase it on. Um, this was what the cover of Betrayal looked like. Uh, what is this? Is what the cover looks like now. Betrayal by me. The name at the bottom. In case you don't believe me. Um, the, um, however, the paid, the, uh, front cover was changed from that. So if you do happen to see that anywhere, it is the same book. Um, they just thought it would look better with people on the front or, you know, a bit more of a connection to it than just the rose. Um, right, okay. Yeah, I have another one coming out soon. I don't know when. Um, Sacred Fear, so that one's about, that one's a vampire. Then the Betrayal, Betrayal is just a, a normal romance, 
um, triangle between two sisters and someone that one of the sisters meets. So the Sacred Fear is about vampires. I, like I said, I haven't got a cover for it yet. I don't know when it's out, but at the moment it's, it's at the publisher slash editors. So they're sorting out for me at the moment. So I'll let you know when that has a release date and or cover. Okie dokie, on to other news. Um, I have uh, about books. I bought a book today and it's called Wait For You by um, another one by Jennifer L. Armantrout, writing as J. Lynn again. So that's the cover of the. Um, it's only bought it uh, as an ebook, but I like the um, Aliens series, the Lux series that she has written. I haven't read them, but I like the, the, the premise of them. I like the other book that I've, I've read of hers, which was, which now I have a cover. I made sure I got a cover. It's the Frigid, I said. That one is the ebook that I read about the two best friends. And that was really, 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 really good. And I would recommend it to anybody, anybody at all. And it's not overly expensive, uh, especially as an ebook. Um, so yeah, I bought the Wait For You uh, today because like I said I've I've heard of all her books and I've read that other one and um, the um, it's just easy to read it's easy to read the chemistry between the characters in that other book was really really good and I could relate to it and so yeah um, I read some reviews and they pretty much all of them said how good she was with her writing it doesn't matter what she writes she, she writes it so well um, that it's so enjoyable um, so that yeah that's mainly why I got it it's um it's a novella but um, it's about 350 something pages which is more than some books definitely more than some no novellas so I, I mean I thought novella was how small it was it had to be between a word count uh, I must have that wrong I don't know because I don't know how it's called novella it is an add-on um... oh no sorry no this isn't the novella I got it wrong <laughs> there's two books there's this one which is her side then there's another one which is called Trust In Me. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, this one is the proper book, which is her side of the story. And then there's another one, which is the novella, which is 350-something pages, called um, Trust In Me. And that's his side. And it's about um, a girl called Avery, and she goes to a new school. And her first day in there, by all accounts, she bumps into the hot boy of the school. Um, and he's got these, his name's Cameron, and he's got these smouldering blue eyes, and everybody wants him, except Avery. Um, but he wants her for some reason, so they sort of, um, they do an astronomy class together, and it brings them together, and she's got problems in her past that she's trying to run away from, that's why she changed schools, things like that. I don't know 100%, obviously, because I've only read the blurb, so it sounds, it does sound... Oh, sorry, that's going to my eyes. It does sound really, really good. So, yeah, I bought that today. Um, what else? Let me have a look. I've also been reading a book called Free Fall. I didn't tell you last time because I forgot, to be honest. Now, I have a picture of that by Tess Oliver, Free Fall. There. Not a bad book. I'm 52%... Uh, through it, it's an e it, I bought an ebook as well. Again, it's about um, a tattooist, a tattooist. Sorry, is that wrong then? A tattooist. He's got his own shop. Um, lovely man, and he meets this girl. I can't remember their names. I'm really sorry. He meets this girl, and she's mute, and she's living with um, someone that's really rich. And they, uh, this this man saved her from the streets basically now she sort of owes him and that's why she's in a relationship with him and but she she doesn't love him and she can't break free so she, he she has scars from her past and this man want the, her partner wants her to get a tattoo to cover them so they find this shop the um, the only shop that can do it after hours because she won't go in there during the day and he starts tattooing her and they sort of fall for each other and she wants to find a way of escaping so he he gets her to work for his nan who has um, Alzheimer's and can't remember anything to write her memoirs and so far it's really good I mean I will finish it and I will let you know exactly what it's like um, like I said I'm only 52% through it so but so far so good it's really good um, in other news, 
music I've been listening to. Um, I have, at the moment, I've been listening to Mallory Knox. They're an English group. Um, they are alternative rock. I found recently that a lot of the things I like are alternative rock. Um, their album is called Signals. So a massive shout out if they see this to Mallory Knox because they are really good. They've just started touring. I'm unhappy because um, they were touring in Bristol on the 22nd of November and I didn't know and it's now sold out and I can't go and see them. So I'm really bummed about that to be honest because their music, their, their album um, is fantastic. It's brilliant. Um, also, I've been listening to The Gazette, which is a Japanese band and their album is Toxic and brilliant love it if you like something a bit different that is also classed as alternative rock which i didn't know it's it's heavy but not overly heavy and it's not pop so um and i think that's why they class it as alternative rock it's rock but not as you know it Ooh, a bit sci-fi there um another thing i've been listening to is fallout boy their newish newest album which is called save rock and roll i haven't got a picture of that because a lot of people know who fallout boy is anyway so you can easily find out about that album um again alternative rock pop rock uh pop punk so i've always liked for like boy and then they split they got back together and this album just rocks it i mean it hits it at the park absolutely 100 percent oh yeah brilliant and then another one i've been listening to is you mean six another english band Fairly, they're not fairly new, but they're still getting themselves out there on the scene. <clears throat> and they have a new album coming out, which I cannot wait for. I cannot wait for. Um, on the 27th of the 1st. At the moment, it's only available in the UK and, and sort of around there. I don't know exactly, but I know it's only... It's not like America and places like that at the moment. But it's called Cavalier Youth. There, can you see that? There. Yeah, so... We'll be getting that. So, yeah. Yes. It's rather cold here in Bristol at the moment. Yeah. It's gone from absolutely boiling to absolutely freezing. Or we would... English people would say it's cold. Well, sorry. Southern English people would say it's cold. Because, as you know, south is normally quite warm. And it's gone from really warm that you walk some distance and you have to sort of strip down to your top, your t-shirt, to so cold you're going to have to buy a pair of gloves, a scarf and a hat. I know it's um, November, but come on, weather, climate, make your mind up. Have that little gap in between hot, cold. It's called warm. We all like it. It gets us used to the other two ends of the spectrum. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. I've got my other candle. That candle I told you yesterday's video. It come in a set. And this is the other one, which is called... Let me get it for a minute. It's called Sparkling Snow. Look. And... Oh, I can't do that. I got to do that carefully so I don't sniff up the flame. It hurts. It burns hairs. <sighs> Yeah, so it smells lovely and it scents the whole house. It makes the whole house smell wonderful. I was upstairs, come out of the bedroom, and that's the first thing I smell. It was, oh, it was lovely. It's not overpowering. I don't like it overpowering. I went through the whole shop and some were too much. It might change when you like them, I don't know, but really nice, really nice. So that one is to go with the other one. Um, anything else? No, I don't think so. Right, I'm going to leave it here. It's about 14 minutes long. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. I would love to get to know you, whoever. Um, so, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for another one. So, thanks for listening. Goodbye.